All right, so are you ready to see your new home? Yes, I'm really excited. All right, here we go. Whoa. Wow, <laughs> this is beautiful. We're not cutting square. Either the square has been bent or the saw is off. Hmm. Yeah? That's not good. I know, because look at it right here. See right there? Yeah. I mean, it's not like it's a really big deal, but it would be good to have it either cutting right or get rid of the square, right? So we'll check it with this square. Uh, the two squares agree. We'll check one more square. Okay. Wow, look at Sally's little perch. <laughs> nice. We'll check it with this little Burka one. Oh, we haven't used him in so long. No. He's our favorite. So all three squares agree. Therefore, I think the saw is off a little bit. Oh, bummer. So we can open it up here, right? And you can adjust it. And it's all the way down. There's nothing built up here blocking it. So I'm thinking I need to adjust the stop a little bit. Because it's, it's too far, it's too far in. It needs to come out of here. So adjusting that saw blade really helped it a lot. It's cutting straight now. Right now we're gluing up a little. It's stuck, it'll come out. <laughs> gluing up some little blocks that we're gonna use to help support the bed rails. We're gonna brand nail them on there with some glue. Not too much glue, because we don't want it to ooze out everywhere. We have a mixture of wood that we're using. We've got cedar posts with pine for like the, the part where your pillows go up against. We did that because the um, the cedar posts were a lot nicer quality and it just it just worked out that way. When we stain it all, I think it's just gonna look beautiful. It definitely has a different smell to it. Yeah, it does, wow. It smells good. I think it's coming out really nicely. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. Wouldn't it be cool if we did like a design in here, like a woodworking burnt design or something. Feel it calling me like the wind. Trust the compass down in my skin. Walk straight, stay right. That's what they say to me, but I don't fit right. Inside the lines. Woohoo! Looking good, eh? Yeah. We just took out all the supports in the middle right here because we're going to sand it now so we can stain it and get it all pretty nice. What grit are you going to use first? I'm going to test right here. I've got a 60 grit because we've got some to take down. So I'm going to test it with a 60 grit and see. But we got 120, 220, and 400. So we got, we got plenty of options. Moment of truth here. Oh man, this is one big hole. Hopefully. <laughs> What'd you do? Hopefully, I did it right. It's not all the way cut out yet. It's kind of roughed in. We'll make it a little bit bigger if we need to, which I'm almost positive we're going to, but I didn't want to overcut it the first time. Yeah, seriously. Oh, that'd be terrible. Yeah, after all your hard work on it. would make me want to cry. All right. Too big, no, not too big. Oh, it's so close. 
Whoa, that's perfect. Nearly, see right here, it's not a, needs to be notched right here, this, the countertop a little bit. Yeah, but like the fit oh, is yeah. perfect. Yeah, the fit's great. Man, look at that, dude, that's so cool. That is a big sink, man. <laughs> Tux can fit in it. He might be able to fit in it, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's really big. I love it, super so cool. love it. And look, it's like, the water doesn't drip down the front of your cabinets because it, it's on here. Yep, it's beautiful. And then, rinse it off, then you put it in here, then you close it up, and you hit start. In your washers. fancy dishwasher. All by the power of the sun, man. This is an off-grid washing dishwasher. That's an off-grid refrigerator, and that is an off-grid range. All right there, baby. So how's it going in here, man? This thing's looking good. Thanks, I love it. Yeah, <laughs> this thing looks way awesome. Jacko Bean to the rescue. Jacko Bean. What you doing over there, Seth? Mm -hmm. Just scrubbing a little bit of stain off the wall. We got a lot of little Jacko Bean. Jacko Bean. On our wall. Oh man, a little bit. Well, that's what we got touch up paint for, I guess. Yeah. Is it just me? Like right here, there's a big dark spot. We haven't actually wiped that part yet. Oh, gotcha. It stains differently depending on the wood. like the pattern of the wood. Yeah. Like this is a big knot. Right. So it's not gonna be all one color. So yeah, it's not supposed to be, huh? Right. Some of it's gonna be darker like that. Yep. And then the cedar wood. It's nice dark and, and it actually has kind of a red hue to it. It's cool. Yeah. Looks great. It's kind of cool that the posts are, are like a slightly different color than the rest of it. It makes it it makes it look unique. What do you think, Joss? Yeah, I think it came out really nice. I like it a lot. And then we'll verithane it twice. I'm not sure that we have done a really good job of showing you what a crazy frenzy we have been in trying to get the apartment finished before Sarah's arrival. Hey babe. Hey. <laughs> Looking at the three-way switches, we got the porch lights out there trying to figure out what we did for the three-way switches. We've got a ton of mess up here. All the little things coming together. I'm sure Jules is showing you all of that right now, but I'm gonna continue working here, trying to get these lights going so that nobody falls down the stairs and gets hurt. Yeah, this is our like beautiful mess behind me. Construction at its best. We have so many tiny, tiny projects that need to get done and it is all taking a lot of time. We have a really big to-do list, but you guys, we are making super progress. I wanna show you some of the things that we may not have been able to capture on camera. One of the most completed rooms, which is super exciting, is the bathroom. Whoa! We got our mirror in, the sink is all in, water is working, hot and cold. We put trim around it, got our towel rack up, toilets installed, toilet paper, shower curtain. Show you the shower is working. I definitely need to clean that. <laughs> shower. The last thing for the bathroom that we want to do is to put in a couple of shelves right here. So they'll go over the toilet right here. And we bought these little brackets, so hopefully we will be doing that today. Both of the bedrooms are coming along really, really well. We have made a bed frame. This frame is actually totally done. We stained it and then polyurethaned it twice. We also have our closets installed and all of the trim. Oh, no, I just remembered. It's not done. We need to put the desk in. And we're supposed to be able to pick up our mattresses today. So the second bedroom here has a little more work on the bed to do. I need to polyurethane it twice today. And of course, we'll get the desk in. And we also need to put in our cool little escape hatch. Let me show you the closet organizers. Closet is ready. Marty's been working really hard to get our kitchen ready. What do you think about the sink? It's all installed and then we've got, we've got water. We also purchased something we've never purchased before and that's plumber's putty. I had never even heard of it, but we needed that for the sink, so learn something new. This is gonna be such a cool view. Looking out the window, you can see your solar panels and the mountains. 
Look down at the garden. We were also really proactive and ordered all of our appliances, um, but we had a couple of problems with two of them. This is the range right here that we purchased, but unfortunately they forgot to include the conversion kit. So we had a little delay in that, but now it is working good. Let me show you. Our refrigerator is working. It's not plugged in right now, but it's doing good. The dishwasher is also in. Oh, we have a few more things in the kitchen though to do. Obviously, there's no hardware. There's no upper cabinets yet. Also, the toe kick is not done. We're gonna be putting a barn door right here that goes into the laundry room. But you'll notice that there is a big hole right here. That is the spot for our laundry center. And anyways, we ended up getting an electric one where we needed a gas. And so that has to be taken back and there's a pretty good delay. So we'll be still going to the laundromat for a while, but we can live with that. Something that I think looks super amazing are the pendant lights. We went with these cool lights up there and I really like how they turned out. The lighting in the kitchen and over the bar area is, I think it turned out pretty awesome. Okay, I guess that's enough show and tell for right now. Marty's probably tired of me not helping, but I wanted to get you guys caught up to speed on what is going on. A lot has been happening. What you doing there, Jules? Uh, Marty cut out these cool covers for our clean out in the la uh, laundry room and in the bathroom. And so I'm staining them and then I'm gonna polyurethane them. <laughs> Using Jacko Bean. Jacko Bean. I really like this color, you guys. It's coming out good. And then these are the shelves that Marty made for the bathroom, too. So we're gonna get those done today. Why are you wearing your winter coat inside? <laughs> This is not a winter coat. This is a smock. <laughs> ah. It's good for all seasons. <laughs> and it has so much paint and stain and tree sap on it that I throw it on whenever there is a dirty, messy job. Mike Rowe would be so proud of me. Running the off-grid dishwasher right now. We got 56 minutes left. We're just running it to make sure that there are no leaks. Before we close up this wall here, we've got a drain splice here and a splice for the water supply here. So just make sure there's no leaks before we close all of that up and uh, make it permanent. But it's doing good, no leaks so far. New mattresses, woohoo! This one's going on your bed, Seth. All right, check out the mattress on the new bed frame. It looks totally wrong. Yes, it is totally wrong. Uh, look at that. <laughs> we got the dimensions for a queen size bed, not a full bed. We're putting full beds up here in the apartment. And so I made two beautiful frames for a queen size bed instead of the full. Now we get to take it apart, cut this off, cut that off. Cut that one off. That's how it'll be done. Some new pocket holes for the screws. And then take this right here, cut it right down there, remove it from here, move this post over to there. Hopefully everything is gonna go great. Nothing is glued except this joint right here. This guy's glued in. So hopefully we can get that off of there fairly easy without tearing up that post. Other than that, it's gonna go really fast. And we gotta cut all the two by fours down. 346 minutes later. Oh, uh, look at that. Bam, it fits. Whoosh. Fixed it, man. I fixed the bed. And it was just about as easy as I said it would be. This one is also fixed. It's propped up right here because we had to restain just a little section right there. Wanted to make sure it dried before it got on the bed. But check it out. <sighs> Yes, that's the bed right there. And the desk is in, cocked along the edge there. Windows all cocked along there. And looking beautiful. I 
Still in the mad rush to get things ready. Yes. Final details, huh, Joss? Yes, the final details. It's really exciting. But Sarah is arriving tonight around midnight. So like Marty said, we are in a mad rush to get all this stuff done. Jules is over here working on knobs for the closets. Yeah. Not closets, cabinets. cabinets. The kitchen cabinets. Yeah. It's cool, huh? Yeah, I like them. I like how easy this template is. We bought this template so that we can get them all lined up correctly on the drawers and the cabinets, and this makes it super simple to do. So for the doors, basically this is just kind of like a square and you just set it on there. You find which where you want it, drill it right there, and every door comes out exactly the same. So the drawers are a little bit different. You have to measure and mark the center right here. Then you take your guide and we have a center mark on it right here. Go ahead, line it up right there. And then we've got our holes marked. You just drill them right there. So unwind the dawn, unravel. We can't help but be a little fragile. Through the clatters inside and crackles all the sound. Of the Last night, everything was going great with the barn door, but right here, right, the, the plastic thing that they gave us pushed through the wall. When we tried to screw the screw into it, it went right into the wall and we lost it. And I was just, I was feeling uncomfortable with what they sent us. This is just a cheap, you know, barn door kit we got off of Amazon. And some of the hardware is not super high quality. The plastic little plug things that you put into the wall to, to mount it up there, most of them are in there spinning now because they're not actually holding it there. So I went ahead to Home Depot and got these guys right here. These will hold 155 pounds each in half inch sheetrock. So we're going to go ahead and take that track back down, put those guys in and that should be rock solid. Right now, it's not rock solid. It'll work, but how long is it gonna work? Man, I don't know. You know, you get people up here slamming this door back and forth and moving it around and uh, we're gonna do it right. All day and night, the world is noisy and that's all right. Every sound. Sarah's here. We're gonna give the big reveal now. Sarah, come on up. Hey guys. <laughs> All right, so are you ready to see your new home? Yes, I'm really excited. All right, here we go. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> this is beautiful. Dude, the countertops are amazing. And I love the, the metal now. hot water heater it's a hot water heater is that right yes because nobody <laughs> likes it when i say that it's a water heater <laughs> but you can call it a hot water heater if you want to all right are you ready to see your room yeah all right really really excited there you go oh, it's so cute dude i love the bed this is so cute this pillow is the the color scheme perfect <laughs> what do you think tux come here it's a little high for him <laughs> I think Tux likes it all right. <laughs> I made the bed frame. Yeah, this is great. 
And it's like big enough you can put storage underneath if you need, yeah. like mm -hmm. tubs and stuff. And the desk is so cute. I love how you put some of my stuff in here too. And the spiders. Mom and dad, they started leaving spiders in my bed for when I come home. <laughs> it scared me the first time for sure. This is my YouTube play button. I got a couple years ago um, for my channel, Sarah Johnson, for this is 100,000 subscribers. And now you're almost up to a million subscribers, like 897,000. Yeah, 000. I'm getting pretty close. It's maybe, exciting. maybe this year or next year. It could be. I'm not super active right now because I'm at school, but I'm going to keep uploading. And so hopefully i get there sometime. <laughs> All right. One more thing for you. Would you like to see the bathroom? Yes. All right. Definitely. Let's go check out the bathroom. Here you go. <laughs> this is really cute. I love it. It's, it even matches like my room, like the greens and stuff. The shower curtain is super, super cute. Yep. I like it a lot. And the shelves. Oh, and the mirror. Everything. I love it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to check out Seth's right now too. Oh, This is so cute. It's like less like happy and vibrant. <laughs> This is awesome, Seth. I love it. What's in that? This here? Mm -hmm. This is the linen closet. Check it out. This one pulls out, though. What do you mean? Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh. Nice. Got a good stack of toilet paper. Alright, you ready? <laughs> yeah. Alright, you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's so cute. Look at this. I think the apartment looks absolutely amazing. It changed so much. The last time I was here was for winter break, and I was helping put up the sheetrock. So, it's a lot different. It looks so awesome. This is Colin. This is my boyfriend. Hello. He's from Tennessee. Um, we'll be here for the summer. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to be helping do everything, I guess. <laughs> yep. Just all the work and staying here for the yep. summer. Yep, so Seth and I, we're gonna move into the apartment. Well, Seth already did. I'm gonna move in tonight. Um, Colin's staying in our uh, camper that we took to Oklahoma. And uh, I'm really excited. I'll be helping with the build, of course, and then helping edit too. If you'd like to see the beginning of our journey here in North Idaho, you can watch these videos over here. If you don't want to do that, um, there's another video over here we have picked out for you. Hope you guys have a great day and keep smiling.